Now, our motor determine acceleration of this block and also determine frictional force. Okay, so how can we determine? First of all, see here. That is 15, 500 Newton with horizontal angle 37 degree. This one is horizontal angle. How much? 37 degree, and that is 12 kg block. And here is static frictional force, and here mu k is dynamic frictional force. Sorry. Static frictional coefficient and here dynamic frictional coefficient are given. So, how can I do it? First of all, make free body diagram of that block. Okay. 12 into G downward for simplicity point of view, we have taken G this equal to 10 meter per second. So, it is written as 120 Newton downward. Clear or not? Due to earth. Okay, due to earth, how much? 120 Newton. Gravity attract to 12 kg mass with how much force? 120 Newton. Clear or not? Now, next one, this is the indirect contact force. Not connected, earth is not connected directly to 12 kg block. That's why that is called indirect contact force or gravitational force or you can say that field force. Okay. Now, next target is contact force. Okay, <clears throat> due to contact force. Now look here. That is that is 37 degree, and this one is 500 Newton. Okay. Now this is also written as 500 Newton. That is 37. So in this direction, 500 into cos 37 and here 500 sin 37 degree clear or not now put what about this value 500 into cos 0 0.8 that is 400 Newton and that is 500 into 0 0.6 that is 300 clear or not clear or not it means this one is break into two component 400 and that is 300 400 in horizontal direction and 300 in vertical direction 300 in vertical direction upward okay clear or not second one surface is smooth or rough that is rough surface why because here given static coefficient and static coefficient and this one is kinetic coefficient are given it means surface is rough. So rough apply two surfaces, two forces. First one, normal force, it is perpendicular, always it is perpendicular to the surface. And second one, it is parallel to the surface, but it is opposite to the applied force. Clear or not? Now look, here two forces, applied force, 120 and here 300. So, if someone say 300 corresponding frictional force downward, 150 corresponding upward. So which one is right? How can check? First of all, we check net force. Okay, net applied force. Net applied force. It is written as 300 minus 120. 300 minus 120 it is written as 180 Newton upward 180 Newton upward upward direction clear or not that is upward direction clear so applied force is upward direction so what about frictional force frictional force develop in downward direction because of frictional force always oppose resultant motion so you can say that applied motion okay applied force so applied force 
or you can say resultant force going on upward so frictional force develop in opposite direction for applied force so fr it is opposite to that one net force here that's why clear now what about limiting friction fs mass fs max is written as mu s into n1 what about n1 n1 is 400 newton so put here that is 0 0.4 into 400 160 newton kinetic friction it is written as mu k into n1 0 0.3 into 400 that is 120 newton clear or not now next target applied force is greater than frictional force or not static friction or sorry limiting friction limiting frictional force that is 140 160 newton what about applied force that is 180 it means motion allow f is greater than f l so you can say that what about a a is not zero so how can we determine a a is written as f minus f r divided by mass so what about f f is 180 newton minus f r during motion during motion which friction force applied kinetic friction or static kinetic friction that is 120 and what about mass 12 so it is written as 60 divided divided by 12 that is 5 meter per second in which direction upward upward okay and what about frictional force how much 120 newton in which direction downward clear or not make it